for teaching or whatever, and you have people that come to your retreat. It's just a, a rebalancing of things because your whole, um, your whole definition set loosens up so much that the whole spectrum of being human opens up and it's all sort of equal to you and you just move into one state whenever you feel like it and then the next state when you feel like it and you know, can appear like you're a little bit crazy sometimes. But I've learned to really love that. It's really, I wouldn't want it any other way because it's the freedom to not be stable it's the freedom to not be static. Like you're always changeless anyway. And the emptiness and the beyondness is practically always, it is always there, but like it's natural and effortless. Even when I'm cracking jokes, there's the sense of this wild emptiness pervading it all. And when I'm talking to you and being like, being teachery or whatever, being guiding you or guiding somebody else, there's the same emptiness, but there's just a different jacket. And I don't, my being, my soul in a sense, my individual consciousness does not always feel like wearing the same jacket. So if it feels like going crazy or scaling buildings at night, what I do sometimes do, uh, then I go do that. <laughs> don't tell the cops. <laughs> so I have a curiosity. Mm -hmm. no. um, I, so I have a desire, I would love to have dinner with you sometime and to, I've watched you up here with various people and um, one, I've wanted to pick certain moments and ask you what was happening in your experience right there because I noticed moments where you're over talking, like two people are, you're talking at the same time as the other person or maybe you seem a little impatient to me or um, like I wanna know more about what your internal experience is while you're with someone. Mm -hmm. And maybe this is just my hunger. Um, but I, the question that I have is, do you feel access to that part of your experience of how it is to be with someone, even if it might not be appropriate on stage? Can you repeat that? Okay. So what's most exciting to me hmm. is when leaders are vulnerable to their experience while they're with a group of people. And I get so turned on by that in my own experience when I'm uh -oh. leading. <laughs> oh, okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm hungry for it. Like, mm. I want to see it so much. In yourself or in leaders no, in, in general? No, in you. In like, me. I'm, yeah, in you. I want, I want you to be in a, a certain way. You want me to be a certain way? Yeah. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> what would you like me to do? <laughs> I'll see if it's appropriate. <laughs> I want to know more about your internal experience of what it's like, like, for example, to be with me here now. It's fun. Uh -huh. Yeah, and it's beautiful, too, because I really appreciate, uh, I appreciate your energy, your, mm. your vulnerability, your leadership, your leadership. Mm. So it's really sweet to be here. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Are you looking for something more dirty or human? Yeah, give me the grit. It's not really here. Mm. It's not that my piece is a facade, because I call my friends. Yeah, I get that. Mm, cool. So it's real, like I'm real here too, when I'm on stage and I'm real. And sure, I'm making myself available to the flow of the questioning. And so, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to, I don't have the desire in that moment because I'm just completely 100% available for the flow of the moment. So if that is a Q&A dialogue, then obviously I'm going to act a certain way, meaning not act, act, but I'm going to express myself in a certain way that seems most in flow in that moment with the questioner and with the, with the audience or whatever it is. Um, and when I go to dinner or I hang out with my friends or I watch a movie or whatever it is or I scale buildings at night, um, 
I'm just totally in that element. I'm totally 100% there. And it just changes wherever I am, sort of. You become, a, or I become available to, to the moment and however it seems to benefit that moment or enjoy that moment the most. Um, so when... <laughs> what was that? Huh? What was that? So I was just responding to you. <laughs> <laughs> What, what would you like to know about yourself? Like, what is it? Why are you... So I totally understand I know, your point, but what, what is, yeah. why are you so passionate about that? Um, so I'm testing people constantly. Nice. Like, I'm testing you. Poor Josh. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. I know he is, yeah. <laughs> no, he can handle it, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> And um, I'm looking for something. Mm, yeah, what is that? That's really fascinating to me. Because I've never had somebody... I've had people ask, like, what's your experience? But never, like, with this passion and, like, like this FBI investigation <laughs> look. <sort of. laughs> and I'm kind of loving it. So I'm, like, curious to get to know more about you, actually, in that. Mm -hmm in that, like, what is that essentially? Yeah, I'm doing a lot of that. I'm like, yeah, okay, I have a lot of attention out here, and gee, what is this that has me questioning, wanting, looking, hmm. peeling back? Yeah, what are you looking for? Uh-huh. Um, and what will it give you if you know, like, if I tell you my experience, or if you could fully know what somebody's experience is, what, in that moment, what would that give you? What, how would that benefit you? The, the words that are coming now is access to true connection. Mm -hmm. When I came up here and I was like, yeah, let's just pretend they're not here. Mm -hmm. Like, let's get... <laughs> There's a, an energy in that, and uh -huh. it's what feeds me most in my mm. life. Mm, sweet. Like, I don't, want, I don't want bullshit. Yep. I can tell. <laughs> mm. So do you get that? Do you feel like you're open to that in your life? Like you're fully, like I see you're open to that in your life, but are you, are you acting on the ways that, that can be a real part of your life? Because if you're really acting on that, then maybe it can also relax at the same time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you can be very passionate about that and I think it's a beautiful desire that's very rooted in a very original, authentic desire to connect, to connect to more of yourself through connection with others. And that may also be derived from, you know, the loneliness you've experienced and the aloneness. It's like, I want to know if that's real, if we can have that real connection here, if we can really share this, this love and this experience and share that, if there can be that real connection, no bullshit, no abandonment, no avoidance. So I think that will be satisfied if... Um, How do people respond? Are you, do you do it all the time? <laughs> Sweet. People love Sweet. me and they hate me. Yeah, I bet. Mm -hmm. I bet. What happens to you when they hate you for it? What happens to me? Yeah, what goes on? Um, I'm amused. Wow. I'm Often. impressed. Sometimes when it lasts for months, then it's more of an issue, but... Mm -hmm. um, if somebody hates me, I'm amused. <laughs> That's great. That's good stuff. It's, it'll come up, I don't know, once a week, someone will, will say, who, who are you? Like, I'm, there's intimidation. People feel intimidated. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then they'll see some other part of me and they'll say, oh, okay, that's mm. it. They get something. Mm. So it switches a lot. Mm -hmm. How do you feel this would sort of saturate itself, satisfy itself to the point where you can know that the connection is real and therefore you can relax and be in that gratitude of yourself, meeting yourself through another or through yourself? 
When would you feel totally loved and cherished in connection? I like the question. Is it sort of like, when is the hunger to find that satisfied? When did you get your food? When is your hunger stilled? Like, not just stilled, but like overflowing. What would that look like? Um, you can describe a fantasy scenario if you want, or, or you can keep it to yourself too, but like, how would that look like? What would be happening? How would that feel? But mostly, how would it look like for now? So I feel really lucky to be able to have access to this feeling with groups of people that I'm, that I surround myself with mm -hmm. through kind of intentional practices and group meditations. And mm -hmm. um, I get access to that feeling like mm -hmm pretty regularly and it's just this like ugh, like we all kind of feel like we're on drugs or something and it's a little altered and it's so satisfying mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so what would that look like in your daily life when you're not in the meditation group can you put the microphone a little closer Um, it's funny, it's uh, actually accessible in every moment. It's, I want access to the moment, like to every moment. Mm -hmm. And noticing slowly what's happening, and I forget that. Do you realize that wanting to connect to other people is totally wanting to connect to yourself? Yeah. And a part of yourself before it believed it was all alone. Before whatever happened happened or whatever changed changed. You after the fact wants to connect to you before the fact. Me after the fact. Me at you after your childhood wants to connect to you before childhood. Yeah. So that's the hunger, it's the hunger to yourself. You wanna circle it around, back around. You wanna feel yourself. Mm -hmm. You wanna know that you're real. You wanna know that your connection is to all that is, is all that is, is real. Yeah, in the moments that are inconsequential, like brushing my teeth. Yeah, mm -hmm. yep. When you're all alone, you wanna know that you're not all alone by connecting to the fact that you're all one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? No? Uh, um, yeah. Language is... Sure. What would you really want? Hmm. Do you know you're loved? I think so. Are you looking for real connections because those that you projected should love you, like your parents, were not always real? Yeah. So maybe. In our culture. Mm -hmm. So maybe simultaneously, as well as learning this for yourself and it and exploring this for yourself, perhaps you came here with the purpose of bringing that more 